Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, miss. Hello there. Hello there. Thank you so, so much for joining today's class. We're going to start here, but just let me go ahead and change the batteries on my mouse. So tell me, how was your weekend? Everything good during the hurricane? Are you safe? Yes? Yes, miss. Yes, excellent. That sounds perfect, Emerson. I'm very glad that you're safe and that you're at home, right? So how was your weekend? Tell me. Joanna, how was your weekend? Good evening. My uh, weekend uh, was very hard. Very hard? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I hope everything is better now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. And you, Vladimir, hello. How was your weekend? My weekend was very relaxed. Oh, nice. Very relaxed. Oh, you're not yes. working. I remember yes, that. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, yesterday, uh -huh. I started working. Oh, you started working yesterday? Yes, I see. My goodness. But yesterday, there was a hurricane. But you worked? Yes. Mm. I see, I see. Well, hopefully, we get better, right? So... Like again, thank you everyone for joining. I know it's been difficult dates, difficult weekend, right? But I hope you're better and that we can work together, right? Now, we have been working with the past lately, right? And I would like to know if you have questions about the past. If you have anything that you would like to share, any questions at all? No? No questions about the past. Everything is clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So let's go ahead and share something right now. Right in the class, we are going to work right now with some of the questions. Right. I would like you to look at my computer right now. Dun, 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 dun. One moment. Just a few questions that I want you to think of, right? You have, you have seen some of these questions before, right? So we're going to just make them work right now. One moment. Okay, these are going to be my questions right now. So I want you to look at them, please. Right? We're going to watch them and tell me if you have your answers ready. Now, can you see the questions on the screen? Yes? yes. Okay, excellent. Yes, so we have some questions here. Number one, did you read a book or magazine last week? Number two, do you eat at a restaurant last week? Right, a restaurant, it can be a restaurant, it can be a cafeteria, it can be, I don't know, un puestecito de comida, anything, right? If yes, what did you eat? Did you get a haircut last month? If yes, where did you get it, right? Were you happy yesterday? If yes, why? If not, why not? 
right? Were you busy yesterday? If yes, why? If not, why not? And were you tired this morning, right? So we're gonna answer these questions, right? Now, for you to answer those questions, I want you to start thinking of the possibilities, possible answers, right? So let's go, right? Let's see. We have three, two, four, six questions, right? And we have just a few people here. I really, really hope the others are fine, right? So I have Emerson, Joanna, Alexander, Carol, Janira, Kilo, Carla, Carlos, Janira, Eduardo, Pablo, Bernardo, and Elena. Okay, perfect. So are you ready? Do you have your answers? Yes, no. <laughs> Alexander says, what? what are you talking about? No, teacher. <laughs> so look at those questions. Pick one question right now and tell us about it. No se permita cerveza, Jose. Ay, spray. Ah, es juguito de sábila. Okay, okay. <laughs> it looks like a, how do you call it? Suprema. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So let's see. Se puso alegre en pleno martes. Okay. <laughs> let's check, right? Let's check. Did you pick your question? Are you ready to answer? Everything is in past in this moment. We are working with the past, right? Mm -hmm. Ready, ready. Okay, let's see. Let's start with the da, da, da. Let's start with Javier. Javier. Which question did you pick? Um, question number one. Number one, okay, very good. Very good, so question number one. Tell us about number one. Tell us your answer. Yes, I read a book. Okay, okay. Yes, you did. Okay, which book? Tell us more, <laughs> right? Remember, we're trying to speak in English, right? The more you practice, the more you make mistakes, the more you learn. So tell us, tell me more. What book do you read? I read, no sé cómo se dice en español, pero el título es La Gran Biblia de Debian. Okay. You can, uh, proper names will always have the same name, right? For example, Silvia Maricela, Silvia Maricela. La Catedral de San Salvador, okay? San Salvador Cathedral, right? So, La Biblia de Debian, okay? What is the book about? Mm -hmm. What was the book Perfect. about? The book about 
the spot about is uh, how configuration the system operative system uh, by Linux the distribution okay. Debian, Debian is is your name Debian that's the name of the of the system oh nice very good Javier thank you so much choose another person please Select okay. another person. Yeah. Joanna. 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 Okay, Joanna, tell us your question. Which one did you pick? Uh, did you get a higher cut last month? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I did. Where did you get it? I got at the office. At the because office? My, see, because my friend uh, could cut it, uh, the higher. Uh, siempre. <laughs> always, okay. Always, always, always. <laughs> okay. Did mm -hmm. did did you give money to your friend? Did you pay her to cut yes. your, your hair? Okay. Do you like how she got her? Yes. Mm, okay. Very good. Thank you, Anna. That's good to have friends at work. Who's okay. next, Joanna? Um, Jose. Jose. Jose Alexander, okay. Which one did you pick, Jose? Um, the number five. Number five, that was three to five. Were you busy yesterday? Okay, yes. tell us. Yes, I was, I began the preparation of the new budget. Oh, okay, sounds difficult. Yes. Okay. So Very how long does it take for you to prepare it? Can you repeat? Okay. How long does it take for you to prepare the budget? A week. A week. So you're on day number two. Yes. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Jose. Uh, let's see. Another person, Jose? Um, Emerson. Emerson. Okay, Emerson. Good evening. Good evening. Which uh, question did you choose, Emerson? Number one. Number one. Okay, tell us more. Yes, I did. I uh, I started read a novel mm -hmm. uh, about the character who is so unlucky to that he is spreading into everyone who approaches who um, approaches him okay and what is the name of the book the cooler the cooler so, yes yes okay sounds cool <laughs> hey, the cooler sounds cool okay thank you emerson thank you so much choose the last person for today's activity Okay. I don't see nothing. Who? Si puedes encender sus cámaras. Más de la mitad está con la cámara apagada. Uh -huh. Who who's next, Emerson? I think he left, right? Creo que se le fue el Inter. Yes, he left. So let's see. Ah, uh, Eugenia, you you go. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, four. Four. Okay. Were you uh, happy yesterday? Yesterday. Mm, if not, why uh, she's, she's stuck and worried about and uh, no me recuerdo como se dice compañeros 
co-workers. Co-workers and complicated uh, complicated for for a rain. For the rain, okay, perfect. Now, who is she? Because the question is, were you happy yesterday? Yes or no? No. Okay, so you say, no, I wasn't happy. No, I wasn't happy. Uh -huh. I wasn't happy. Okay, yes, I think everyone was worried about the hurricane. Very good, Carla, thank you so much, right, for your answer. Thank you, appreciate it. And now I have here, sorry, I have problems with Zoom. Yes, we noticed that. <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. Now, we're going to stop right there. We're gonna keep talking about the past, right? We're gonna make some exercises from our book, right? Let me just check here. No, that exercise not yet. We're gonna go here. Last week, we finished with this. Do you remember? We make the negative sentences into positive sentences. Right, with the past. So I hoped that you copy this information, right? And then we are going to work right now with the following. It says simple past information questions, right? Now, before we start, right, we're going to work with information questions. That's important, right? So we, when we make information questions, right, what are the WH words, Vladimir? Give me examples of WH words. Where, why, who. Okay, let's when. put it here. Where, right, why, who, who when. when, what else? How. How, yes, very good. Right? What? 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 Exactly. Excellent. Very good. Look, here Vladimir is giving us a lot of information, right? Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you very much. So these are examples of the WH questions that you can use, right? There are many, many more that we can use, but these are like the, like the ones that we use the most. Right? We're going to put them in da, da, red, right? Now, we have these WH questions. This is for us to remember which are the questions that we can use to make our examples. Here, the verb that I am going to use is the verb do, right? I have the verb do. Now I need to make my question, right? So what kind of example can I make? Can you give me a WH word that you like best? Joanna? Uh, when? When. Okay, mm -hmm. when. Excellent. Now, what is the auxiliary that I use for past sentences? Past questions? Did. Did. When did. Give me a subject, Javier. A subject. Carlos and Sofia. Carlos and Sofia. Okay. When did Carlos and Sofia, right? Now the verb is do. I'm making a question. Do I keep the verb as do or do I change it to did? Jose? Should I put did or do? What's the best option? Do. Do. When did Carlos and Sofia do um, their homework? Ooh, nice. I have a very nice question now, right? Because I use the order, right? You gave me the order. Joanna gave me this part, right? The WH word plus the auxiliary plus the subject, the verb and the complement, right? I'm following a simple step. Now, let's go ahead and do the others. You're going to do two, three, four, five, and six, right? Now, let's do that. Do you understand what you're going to do right now? Yes, Is it clear? Yes. Yes? yes, yes. Okay, let's start. Let's start. If you can write the answer, do so, please. 
I'm gonna put my answer here, right? With a different color, I'm gonna put it here. They did their homework last night, right? So if I put when, last night, right? Very good. Everything is complete. Thank you, because you helped me with my question. Now let's go ahead and make the others. Let's start. Question, answer, question, answer. You can do it. Do you finish? Do you need help? Do you understand all the verbs? Well, while do you, while you do that, I will call the attendance, right? So we can be in on the same page. So happy together. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present, present teacher. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present, teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. Y José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Calante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digaí López Portillo. Sara. Tatiana Ivón Torres Beltrán. Tatiana. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. 
Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Very well. ¿Me faltó alguien? No, los mencioné a todos. Perfecto. Ok, so let's continue right here. Right. Do you have your questions? Joana, ready? No yet? Uh, yes, only question. Only questions. Let me see the answers. Try to make the answers while you wait for the others, okay? Okay, let's see your questions and let's see your answers. Uh, Vladimir, you start with number two. What do you write? Ahorita me digo que uh -huh. Number two, where did you go last year on vacation? Where did you go last year on vacation? Okay, let me write it. Okay. And what's your answer? My answer is I went to Roatan. Nice, very good. I went to Roatan. Perfect. I'm gonna write his answer in his question. Now, what is another example that you have for question number two? Uh, Franco, can you tell us your example? Number two. Mm -hmm. Where did she buy those shoes? Where did she buy those shoes? Very good. We're gonna put the question number two here. I think we have more space, right? Where did she buy 
those shoes. Shoe. Perfect answer. What do you have? She bought those. She bought those shoes in the store. In the store. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have number two. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller so we have space for others. What do you have for number three? Thank you, Franco. Number three, Imelda. Oh, that was this was number three, right, Franco? Bye. <laughs> three. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Imelda, what do you have for number three? Cher, no las he hecho, es que no, no, no entiendo, me siento perdida ahorita. Okay, remember to watch the videos, right? All the explanation is on the videos, right? It's very important you do so. Bernardo, what do you have for number three? Why did you buy that cup? Why did you buy that cup, right? Uh, yes. Okay, answer? Because it was cool and cheap. Because it was cool and cheap. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Right, Joanna, what do you have for number four? Number four is, um, why did she read the, this book? Number four. It's work. Ah, perdón. Who did he work at the night? Who did he work at night? Mm, but what do you want to say here? He worked with? I don't understand. This question is incorrect. Well, the... we say? Okay, when we say who did he work at who did he work at night, we're saying something bad. It means uh, something like maybe you uh, you are a criminal, right? And you're doing something bad to a person, right? So yes, who who did work who did work at night? Omit he. No, you cannot omit the subject, right? I don't understand. I don't understand, teacher. Okay, what do you want to ask? Tell me in Spanish. What do you want to say? ¿Quién trabajó toda la noche? Quiero preguntar. Okay, who? Very good. Then we just make a, a question, right? This is called subject question, right? And we're gonna put here, who worked at night? Uh, Lucas. Uh, uh -huh. Who uh, worked at night? Uh, uh, the verb is in past. Ah, because no, auxiliary, okay. Exactly. Lucas, Lucas worker. Worked? Worked uh -huh. at, at the night. At night. At night. At night. Okay. Lucas work at night. Very okay. good. Thank okay. you, Joanna. Um, Pablo Alberto, what do you have for number five? Uh, what did you read the report? What did you read? The report. But the what? The report is the what? So you cannot, that's the answer. Okay. It's like you say, what did you read a book? It's incorrect. Because what do you read? A book. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. So what's um, the answer? What's the question? The, uh, I'm in the answer is I read the accident report. I read? I read the accident report. The accident report. Report. Okay. I read the accident report. Repeat. 
I read the accident report. Excellent. Thank you, Pablo. Right. Uh, what do you have for number five? Francisco Lopez. Number five. Francisco? No? Me, teacher. Okay, go. Why did you watch that program? Number five. No. Number five is read. Ah, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. There's mosquitoes everywhere. Uh huh. Tatiana, number five. When did you read the book? When did you read the book? Okay. What's the answer? I uh, miss a pass read. 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 I read. On um, June, I read the book. I, I read the book on June. Uh -huh. On June. Very good. Thank you. Now, Oscar Noé, number six. Six. Yes. Okay. Where do you see that movie? Where do you see that movie? That movie. Uh huh. And the answer? I did see Netflix. I did see Netflix. On Netflix. On Netflix. On Netflix. Okay. Because wasn't on HBO Plus. Because it wasn't on HBO. Okay, thank you. Now, one thing that we need to remember here, what is happening with your answer, uh, Oscar? There is something that you're not supposed to use when you write an answer, an affirmative sentence. So my question right now is for you, Oscar. When do I use the auxiliary did? Mm -hmm. Use auxiliary div and in questions, uh-huh. And negative. Negatives and and, and WH question program. WH questions too, uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh, pass. Simple? Yes, in past simple, of course. Very good. Now, what happens here? This is an affirmative sentence, right? This is affirmative, no? Eh? In affirmative sentences, we do not use did. What we're going to do is that this verb, the verb C, we need to put it in past. So what is the past tense of C? What is the past tense of C? Saw. So. Yes, sir. It's saw. So. Right? I saw it. We're going to talk about the movie. I saw the, that movie. I saw it on Netflix. Because it wasn't 
on HBO. Right? Now, pay attention to this. Remember that that movie, that movie is it. Right? So thank you so much, Noe. Right, we need to mention that. Any questions about these questions? Do you understand the questions right now, people? Teacher, only in who uh, is this a structure? Mm, yes. Okay. And the question, what happened? This is called subject questions. Do you remember subject questions from last class? Joanna? So the question. Mm -hmm. Let me show you here. This, this, can you see my screen? Okay. Let me show you. I'm gonna put something here. Joanna, can you please read this information? Ocean sodium question are question we has when we want information about the subject or something. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing that performs the action. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right. The subject of a sentence is the person or thing that performs the action, right? There's something that we cannot forget when we're making these questions. Now, we're going to give some examples. Now, most of the questions that we make, right? Most of the questions that we make, we make the questions with a structure like we have seen before. But these WH questions is we have the WH word plus the auxiliary. That's what we have. WH word plus auxiliary. For example, let's make one question that is very simple, right? One that is very simple. Let me here. Right, examples. I know this is a, a little bit out of topic, but let's make it here. Right, we have example number one. It says here, who is coming with me to pick up the supplies? Now, I am going to go to the supermarket right now. So who is coming with me to pick up the supplies? I need an answer, and that in that case, it will be a subject of the sentence. So when we say the subject of a sentence, like Joanna just read, is the person or thing that performs the action, right? So I'm gonna have it here. Who is coming to pick up the supplies? I'm gonna say Javier is coming with me to pick up the supplies. Right? Now, in this case, I don't care about, I don't care about this, right? I don't care about this. What is important to me, because that's the answer that I want, is this, Javier. Javier is the subject of the sentence, right? And when we say Javier, it's who? Who is coming? Javier, right? That's what, when we call it the, the WH question. Here we have it in present progressive, right? Here is in present progressive, but we can make our WH question with any other tense that we want, right? Uh, as long as we make it in this case, WH word plus auxiliary. For example, let's put it here. 
Mm, let's make a negative in present. Who doesn't like Hawaiian pizza? Uh-huh. Who doesn't like Hawaiian pizza here? Who doesn't like Hawaiian pizza? Ah, let's put here Tatiana. Uh, right? We just I, uh, right? We say, hey, who doesn't like Hawaiian pizza? Teacher Tatiana, <gasps> right? So yeah. in this case, this, <clears throat> look at this, please. When we say Tatiana doesn't like Hawaiian pizza, right? Or here, this part here between parentheses, that is optional, right? I can say just the name of the person Right, who is performing the action, right? That is optional. Do we understand a little bit more now? Yes, me. Yes, what about the others? Do you understand the subject questions? No? Maybe? Look at them and ask me questions. Mira la me pregunta. Give me an example. Let's see. Now that you don't have questions, give me an example. Write your example in the chat. Write a WH question with subject question purpose. I'm gonna write one here. Uh, Miss, uh, what as auxiliary? Sorry? What auxiliary? You tell me, you know, simple present, present progressive, simple past, future, you decide. Okay. I'm gonna put here my question, who is going to... That's my question. Okay. Who is going to eat chump pipe on Christmas Eve? Right. Say so Carla says, oh me. Very good. Right. So oh Carla, right? No teacher, no chump pipe. <laughs> my mom, not ticket. <laughs> okay. Is it? Who are you looking for? Uh, I'm looking for Adalberto. Now, Eduardo, pay attention to the auxiliary. We're not using auxiliary. You just put the verb uh, uh, go, but in past. If, you, if you're talking about the past, who went to work today? We're not using auxiliaries. Who buys fruit every weekend? Vladimir? That's every weekend, every week, every week. What tense is the one that you use for routines? For repetitive actions. You use simple present. So it says, who buys fruit every week? Oh, Which okay. did you see yesterday? No, Pablo. Which what? Which movie? That's not a subject question. When did you go to Iceland? I went to Iceland last weekend. That is not a subject question, Emerson Ulises. Who wrote the report? Very good, Janira. Why do you like that program? Tatiana, that is not a subject question. You need to write a subject question. Who buys fruit every week? Very good. My mother buys fruit every week because she loves fruits. Who is drinking a cold beer this night? Jose Alexander is. Where do you work during, a, where do you work at, where do you work, where do you work 
where do you work every day? Right? Yeah, that's Spanish. Durante el día español. Where do you work every day? Who did you see? Okay, okay. Look at that example from Janira. That is not a subject question. It is well written, but it's not a subject question. Oscar, that is not a subject question. What did you watch yesterday? No, that is incorrect. Teacher. Yes. For, for make for make subject question or or to use only word question. This is who. Only We're that. We're using who. We're using who right now. Yes. I want only you... o other. There are other examples, but I want you to use who right now. That's the one we, we need to master first. This is the most difficult one. Primero díganme que se aprendió esto para enseñarle a los demás. Okay? First this one. Now, look at the example that Janira wrote. It says, who did you see? Who did you see? Teacher, but it says who, right? It says who, entonces, who? Did you see? What is the difference? Look at this, please. Look at this. I saw my cousin. Pay attention. No escriban. Pay attention. Who did you see? Porque ahí me han escrito un montón de preguntas que no son subject questions. No me están dando sujeto. Me están dando otra cosa. Oscar, that is not a subject. Okay, now when we say, who did you see? What are we asking? Right, it says, oh, I saw my cousin, right? I saw my cousin. Who did you see? I saw my cousin, very well. Now, I want you to read this part. What does it say? The subject of, a set of the sentence is the person or things that performs the action. Now, in this question, right? It is well written. Está escrita perfectamente, right? Tatiana, ponga atención, right? It is well written. Esta pregunta está perfecta, right? No tiene ningún problema. But what happens here? Look at the examples. Who is coming? Who doesn't? Subject, subject. What is the subject here in the answer? What is the subject? My cousin. No. What is the subject? I. I, exactly. I is the subject. Is this the answer that I am looking for? No, I'm looking for this answer. So this is an object question, right? So the subject question is everything that goes here at the beginning of the sentence, right? Is the person that we say, oh, that's the subject. Estamos preguntando por el sujeto. Eso es lo que queremos saber cuando tenemos una de estas preguntas. We are looking for the subject. Here, we are not looking for the subject because this is the subject. This is the doer of the action. This person, I performed the action, not my cousin. I saw, not my cousin. So this is an object question, okay? So, for, so is, the question is correct, right? The question is correct. Right, but it has another purpose. La pregunta está bien, pero tiene otro propósito. That's called object question. Right? Object question. Do you understand the difference? Do you see the difference here? In this one, we use a, an auxiliary. Here, we don't use an auxiliary. Right? So here, the question, why does Julio see the program? 
That's not a subject question. Está bien escrita, perfectamente, pero no es una pregunta para buscar sujeto. Right? Ahí buscamos el objeto. Why does Julio see the, the program? Julio sees the program because he likes it very much. What did you do yesterday? Uh, I went to the park yesterday. Subject question. Uh, object question. Uh, no, está bien escrita. Right? What did you watch yesterday? No, that is incorrect. You don't mix. You don't mix was and did. That is incorrect. If you have did and was in the same sentence, in the same question, in the same answer, is incorrect. It's a big no-no. Who did you see? Perfect. Object question. Where do you work at night or at, during the day? During the day. Uh -huh. during the day. But that is not an object question. No estamos preguntando por sujeto ahí. Who is drinking a cold beer? Yes. Why do you like that program? Not a, not a subject, it's object question. When did you go to Iceland? It's not subject, it's object question. Which uh, movie did you see yesterday? Object question. Where Laura buying? No, that's object question. Y está mal escrita. Right? We need to make sure that we follow this. Now, I want you to tell me if you have questions about this. Pregunten. Pregunten. Yo sé, yo sé que ya lo vieron porque es del módulo 2. Así que sin pena, pregunten porque eso no falta. Pregunten en español si quieren, no hay problema. No hay problema. Yo necesito que sepan hacer esto porque ya es módulo 4. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Vamos, chicos. No nos vayamos con esa duda, porfa. No tenemos preguntas. Teacher, este, yes. acá la pregunta, como la ha puesto, who did you see? Uh -huh. Está, este, ¿cómo se llama? Ah, es, la, es de información, pero eh, si yo quisiera hacerla más extensa, con algo más puntual, digamos, este, si yo quisiera hacer, who did you see yesterday? Eh, digamos, una hora. Uh -huh. a five o'clock o algo así este, podría extenderla así o son, yes. sencillamente me quedo con con, con, con no. hit the UC no, you can make it bigger you can make it as specific as possible you can say, okay. who did you see yesterday at Cinemark ok you can get more information right? very good question Pablo Let's see, where do you live? Who plays soccer? Very good, Joanna. Who ate burgers yesterday? Perfect. Where do you live? Está perfecta, Yanira, pero no es una subject question. Quiero saber si entienden que es una subject question. Esta básica, subject question básica. Eso es lo que necesito saber. ¿Por qué es de módulo 2? Necesito que ya la sepan. Porque en el módulo 5, el otro, el otro mes, ya tenemos que ir hablando más. Ya el módulo 6, después van intermedio, ya tienen que hablar eso. So tell me. Where do you live? Perfecto, perfecto. Who did you teach English last week? Who... That is an object question, Oscar Magaña. 
who did you teach English last week to? I taught English to Javier last week. Right? Pregunten. Okay, let me let me una open pregunta, that. Una yes. pregunta. Go, please. Okay, mm -hmm. este esta subject question eh, se refiere en, entiendo yo cuando la respuesta eh, va dirigida a una persona, no a un objeto. Por ejemplo, con la que se puede responder más de una persona cuando pregunta quién, porque dice quién, como que ya se refiere que está hablando de persona. Entiendo yo uh -huh. que es de esa manera, aunque se puede hacer eh, con otra WH también, ¿verdad? Pero que la respuesta sea, ya sea yo o Fulano o María o nosotros, entiendo uh -huh. yo que como la respuesta le indica este, cuál es, este, por qué es una pregunta sobre el question, no sé uh -huh. si estoy equivocado. Y la otra, la otra, y la otra, porque eran dos preguntas, la otra es que por qué cuando hacemos, eh, por ejemplo, preguntas en, en tiempo pasado, eh, por qué en algunas ocasiones ocupamos el did, que entendía yo que el did siempre lo íbamos a ocupar y no íbamos a modificar el verbo cuando hiciéramos una pregunta. Uh -huh. Pero por qué en algunas, por ejemplo, en la que yo puse, que era este... Yo puse ahí, who, who did go to work today? Pero tendría que ser, who went to work today? Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿por qué ahí no va el did? Si, por ejemplo, en otros ejemplos que hicimos, eh, cabía bien el did junto con estas preguntas de WH. Ok, Esa perfect. Es. Excellent, excellent. I am going to start with the second answer, ok? Voy a comenzar con su segunda respuesta. Y ese, eh, el... Give me a moment. I'm going to start with the second answer, okay? Why do we use did? Because in the first one, Eduardo, your question, you don't have to use did because it's a subject question. Okay? It's a subject question. In the subject question, we don't use did. We don't use the auxiliary, right? So in this case, right, we're going to put, if it is a question in past, we just go with a verb, right? Como es una subject question, solamente escribimos la WH word y ponemos nuestro verbo. Por ejemplo, el, el que puse Joanna, who ate the hamburgers? Oh. Pablo and Carla ate the hamburgers. Right, so we're just looking for that. Las otras, gramaticalmente, para las object questions, que es la segunda parte que tenemos abajo, que es el ejemplo que nos dio Yanira, right? Si se fijan, las dos están con who. Okay? Pero en, en la primera, subject questions, estamos buscando el sujeto de la oración. La respuesta va a ser el sujeto de la oración. Entonces, todas esas preguntas que ustedes están poniendo de why, where, eso no son subject questions. Porque no estamos hablando del sujeto. Estamos hablando del objeto de la oración. Teacher, ¿y cuál es el objeto de la oración? ¿Se acuerdan cuando en básico, no en básico, perdón, cuando en la escuela, en español, vimos el predicado? ¿Se recuerdan del predicado, el sujeto y el predicado? Entonces, el objeto de la oración está después del verbo. Entonces, ahí está, en esa parte sí se parece el inglés y el español. ¿Okay? Entonces, ¿por qué su pregunta, Eduardo? Eh, si es una subject question, right? Queremos preguntar, ¿y quién fue a trabajar ahora? Right? ¿Quién fue a trabajar ahora? Who went to work today? Who? Estamos preguntando por el sujeto. La, nuestra respuesta va a ser un sujeto. So I say, who went to work yesterday? José en Carlos Vladimir went to work yesterday. Así dijeron ellos que habían ido a trabajar ayer. Right? José en Carlos Vladimir went to work yesterday. So my answer can be, el, el, el resto de la oración, went to work yesterday, solo lo hago para practicar inglés. Pero yo puse, say, oh, José en Carlos. Solo nombres, solo personas. Right? En cambio, en la segunda, que es la que dice object, 
dejé escribir ejemplos porque no están correctos. Ahí, ¿Por qué les digo yo esos ejemplos? Todas las preguntas nos dice where do you live? Where is your mom? What did you visit, Roma? Si las ponemos aquí, right? si digo yo, eh, where is your mom? ¿Dónde ponemos la respuesta? My mom is in her house. In her house está después del verbo. Entonces es un object question. Right? Porque no, mi pregunta no está dirigida hacia quién, sino en el dónde. So, por eso es que tenemos esa división de subject and object questions. No, si le respondí, Eduardo. Eso me pregunté la primera, ¿verdad? El por qué el did. Sí, ajá, el por qué el uh -huh. did. Por qué, ajá, porque mi, mi pregunta era que por qué en una ocupábamos el verbo uh -huh. eh, este, irregular y lo, lo, lo transformamos completamente sin ocupar uh -huh. el did. Y en otras sí ocupábamos el did. Eso era, uh -huh. entonces, entiendo que según lo, la explicación entiendo yo de que lo ocupamos porque nos estamos refiriendo a un subject question. Exactly. Exactly. Cuando, cuando usted diga, estoy usando el did, por ejemplo, where, si yo digo, where did your mom, uh, where did your mom buy that dress? Where did your mom buy that dress? Oh, my mom buy that dress in the store. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo estoy preguntando where. Uh -huh. Entonces, mi pregunta es, in the Está store. Está preguntando lugar. Estamos preguntando por el, por el lugar, exacto, no es un sujeto. No. Uh -huh. okay. Exactly. Thank you, Eduardo. Esta es la regla. Sí. Thank Gracias. you for your questions, Eduardo. Do you understand eh, the question that he made? He made a perfect question. What about the others? Teacher, ¿No? uh -huh. quiero, quiero esta, ver si yo entendí bien uh -huh. la respuesta. Y es que para referirnos a que debe de ir en, nos referimos a una persona en la respuesta, independientemente el, el, la W que ocupemos, siempre uh -huh. debe de ir el DID. ¿Es así? No. No. Si usted va a preguntar eh, acerca del sujeto, no va a llevar DID. Se va a preguntar acerca de where, why, when, eh, which, what kind of, va a llevar de. Right? Porque una WH question es who. Eso sí está dicho. Right? Por eso tenemos el ejemplo que escribió Yanira, para que veamos el contraste de dónde estamos poniendo cada elemento de la oración. Right? Acá no puedo decir, ah, oh, está también una subject question, porque eh, utilizó who. No, no es una subject question porque no se pregunta, mi, mi, mi interés no es saber el sujeto, mi interés saber, es, es saber a quién vio el sujeto. Okay. We can say, for example, who did Joanna see? Joanna saw Alexander. Okay. Pero no estamos preguntando acerca de Joanna, estamos preguntando acerca de Alexander. Y Alexander no va a ser el sujeto en la oración. Va a ser el objeto de la oración. Ahí es donde usted va a utilizar did. Utilice sí. did si está utilizando where, why. Por eso es que sus preguntas están bien. Las que están poniendo aquí. Why, o oh, sería, why did you visit Roma? When did you visit Roma? Where is your mom? Where do you live? Esas preguntas están bien. Pero no son subject questions. A eso queremos llegar. Que no son subject questions. Miss, yes. eh, who is she? Who is she? She is my mom. Yes. Who is she? Very good. Por ejemplo, si pregunto. Eh, who knows where are my cell phone? Who Do knows? To... Exactly. Very good. Who knows where is my cell phone? Imelda knows. Okay. Imelda. Ajá. Entonces ahí apuntamos. Imelda. Mm -hmm. Right? Who knows where is my money? Bernardo knows where is my money. Right? So very good. That's the question. Excellent. Carla? Yes, teacher. 
did, did, did you understand that part? Please tell me. Yes, teacher. Yes, Are you sure? este, va a depender. Bueno, entenderé yo que depende de lo que ocupemos después de la W. w mm -hmm. Es lo que nos va a indicar que es a qué nos vamos a referir. Mm -hmm. Sí, o sea, las palabras, no, usted va a mandar las palabras. ¿Para qué es lo que va, qué es lo que va a preguntar? Sí. Usted es la que lo va a decidir. Sí. Ok, let's keep on uh, working here. Now, we are working with subject questions, subject questions. Now, let's move a little bit back to our book, ok? Now, ya le voy a mandar un ejercicio para que lo hagan ustedes en casita del, del subject and object questions, right? And now let's talk about vocabulary. Right, we have vocabulary here. We're gonna make this, uh, but we're gonna leave this page for a moment because this is just vocabulary, okay? This is just vocabulary. Now, here we have one, two, three, four words or four phrases. Now, can you read the phrases after me? Can you repeat after me, Bernardo? Cash flow. Cash flow. Income statements. Income statements. Equity statement. Equity statement. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Very good. Javier, can you repeat with me, please? Cash flow. Cash flow. Income statements. Income statements. Equity statement. Equity statement. Balance sheet. Balance sheet. Very good, thank you. Now we have these phrases. Now we are going to match, right? The phrases with, right? With the financial statement information with their definitions, right? This is information about your financial statement. What is a financial statement? Is the statement that you get from Banco Agricola, from your credit cards, from your loans, from anything that you have at the bank, right? That's a financial statement. Tienes cinco mil dólares. You have $5,000 in your account. Oh no, you owe $5,000. So that's a financial statement. Now we have one, two, three, four definitions. Now, Eugenia, Eduardo, Pablo, and Tatiana, please help me. Eugenia, number one, repeat. Reports on the changes in retained earnings of a company during the stated period. Report on the change in retained earning of a company during the state period. Thank you. Continue there, uh, Franco. Reports the company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point in time. Reports a company asset liability in owner quality at a given point in time. Thank you. Let's continue with Adalberto, right? Reports on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash, its operating, investing, and finance, financing activities. Reports on a company's incoming and, and outcoming of cash. It is happening in, in investing and, and financial activities. Thank you. And the last one, Tatiana, summarizes a company's incomes, expenses, and profits over a period of time. Summarize a company in commons, experience and profits over a period time of time. Of time, very good. Now, this is for everyone. Thank you so much for your pronunciation, guys. Remember, you pronounce the words at the owners, activities, reports, right? All that is very important, right? Changes, earnings, 
right? The S's are important. So now let's work individually. Let's match here the answers. Let's match the answers. What are the answers for this? You have one minute. Think about the possible answers. For the ones in accounting, right? This will be easy. We have number one. Did you finish? Let me know when you finish. Finish. Finish, excellent, Janina. What about the others? Finish. Finish, Emerson. Good, good, Finish, good. teacher. Very good. A couple more. Are you ready? Okay, I think you are. Let's see here. So what is cash flow? Janira, cash flow, what do you have? And um, me um, confirma si es correct. It's uh, number uh, cash flow number three. Mm -hmm. Can you please read number three? Yes. It's Janina, read number three, please. Okay, reports on company company's income and a counting of cash is operating uh, investing in finance activities. Okay, thank you so much. All right, thank you. Now let's see income statements. Income statements. Imelda, what do you have? Number four. Okay, read number four. 
Read number four, please, Imelda. Uh, Sumari says a company income expense and profit over in a period of time. Over a period of time. Okay, thank you, Imelda. Equity statements. Equity statements. Who has equity statements? Manuel, equity statements. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Okay. Elena Guadalupe. Elena. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Javier. Mm. Equip statements. I think that I think that number one report number one? on the changes in retainer earnings of a company during the stage period. Okay. Then we have a balance sheet. Joanna, what do you have for balance sheet? A your own mute. Is number two. Mm -hmm. Reports a company's assets, liabilities, and earnings quality at a given point in time. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Good pronunciation. Right. So we have C, D, A, B. Does everyone have the same? Do you guys have the same? Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Very good. Yes, the retained. Uh, a statement of retained earnings is a statement of equity, right? So this is totally uh, and absolutely correct, right? Very good. Then we have reports of company's income statements, right? Reports of company's assets, liabilities, and owners of a, of a quality. That would be a balance sheet, right? So this one is correct, right? Balance sheet, reports of companies, assets and liabilities, right? And the last one, a cash flow statement is incoming and outcoming, right? So we have correct answers, very good. Now, remember this is vocabulary that you might use in your workplace, right? This is vocabulary that we also use when we work with companies in the US. So it's important that we know this, right? Now, we're going to continue right now. This is a little bit of a pair work activity, but we're gonna give it uh, some time to, to work right now with grammar, okay? With a little bit of grammar. Just give me a moment, let me change it here. Okay. Now we are going to work today with how to use so and such, right? So and such. These are two words that we actually work with every day. Right? Once you know what they mean, right? then you are going to be, you're going to see this like something that's very, very easy. Now, what's going to happen? When we use so and such, right? 
when we use so and such, something that's very important is that we use so with adjectives, right? There, there's a difference between these two, right? The first one is that so, it, we use it before adjectives and such before nouns, right? That's something that we're going to learn, right? In this moment, something very, very simple, right? Let me show you one picture here. Give me a moment. Can you see where it says so versus such? Yes. Very good. Now, Tatiana, can you do me a favor, please, and read this part? Okay. We use so followed by an, an adjective. That movie was so exciting, but it is so nice. Everyone likes him. Likes him, very good. Thank you so much, Tatiana. Now, we first see here that we use so, followed by an adjective. What is an adjective? What is an adjective? What does an adjective do? What is an adjective? Mm -hmm. Bernardo, what is an adjective? It's the word that qualifies um, a noun. Excellent. Very good. It's a word that qualifies a noun. It's a word that gives characteristics, characteristics to a noun. For example, blue cell phone. Blue is the adjective. We can use colors as adjectives, right? We can say also um, smart students, right? What is the adjective? It's smart. I'm qualifying you as smart. I'm giving a characteristic to you, right? Now, when we give these characteristics, we can give characteristics to people, to animals, to things, to situations, right? To anything, to any noun. We can give a characteristic or a quality to them. Now, we pay attention here. It says, that movie was so exciting. What is my adjective? Exciting. exciting. Right? And then we have the word here. Right? Bob is so nice. Everyone likes him. What is the adjective? Nice. nice. Exactly. Now, you can use so and such, in this case, you can use so and such with any tenses. You can use it in present, in past, in future. It doesn't matter, right? What we're doing right now, right? And it has more options, okay? This is just one structure. The one we're seeing is one structure. We have more examples. So plus blah, blah, so plus, no. But right now we focus on so plus adjective. Right? That's the one we're going to work with. Now, let's see the next part. Joanna, would you be so kind and read such? We use such follower we a noun. Uh, that was such an exiting movie. Move. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's such a gentleman everyone likes in. Very good, excellent. Now here, right, we have two words, right? We have then the word such, right? We have the word, oops, sorry. We have the word such, followed by a noun. What is a noun? Everything that we can name. Right, spray, cup, mouse, pen, etc., etc., etc. Right, students, teacher, computer, blah, blah, blah. 
right? Everything that we can name, that's a noun, right? So we're going to see here, right? Such, we have such in this sentence. That was such an exciting move, right? And then you will say, but teacher, we have an exciting move. Exciting is an adjective. Yes, it is an adjective, but we're referring to the word move. Right? We look at this. We have an, right? We know that we use a and an with nouns, right? No, with adjectives. We use them with nouns, right? Oh, Bob is such a gentleman. This is not an adjective, this is a noun, right? Everyone likes him. Now, do you understand these examples right now? Yes? Okay, let's take a look at the examples from our book. Can we? Let's look at the examples from our book. And let's identify the elements that we need to have here, right? We have first, right, so, and we're going to put our examples so plus the adjectives it is so necessary for the company what's the adjective tatiana necessary necessary very good read the next one bernardo and tell me the adjective it is it's it is so important to check the reports adjective important Important, very good, excellent. Continue reading there, Javier. The projects. The projects were so well made. Mm -hmm. Well is adjective. well is is a subject. The adjective. Repeat adjective. 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 Ah, adjective. Okay, Sara. Our ideas. Sarah, read the last example. Our ideas were so Im Im imaginative. Okay, thank you. Our ideas, our ideas were so imaginative. Okay. Imaginative. Imaginative, it's very good. So we're gonna have the adjective in my Right, very good. Continue with such, such. Uh, let's see, Wendy Marlene. It is such a creative program. Okay, now? Uh, program, creative now. program. Very good, a creative program. Very good. Excellent. Let's continue, Vladimir. It is such a significant, significant investment. A significant investment. So it's important, right? A significant yes. investment. I'm going to just reselect also the added, the noun, right? Very good. Continue, Franco. The report was such as useful tool before. Very good. What's the noun? Uh, tool. Tool is the noun. Perfect. So we're going to put here a useful tool is the whole phrase, right? Is the noun phrase. Very good. But only tool, right? Before it's just a phrase of time. Very good, Franco. Let's continue there. Eh, ta, ta, ta. Oscar Noé, the last product. Last product was such a big sus. Mm -hmm. What's the noun phrase? A big sus. A big success. Okay. Success. A big success. A big Very success. Good. And the noun is success. Very good. Right, 
Excellent. So we got there our examples. Do you understand right now the examples? Yes or no? Please tell yes, me. Please. Yes. Okay. One person says yes. What about the others? Well, asumir ese silencio como un sí entendimos. Right? And we're going to continue here with other examples. Can you please check on your, on your book right now? The answers, copy, copy the answers, please, really quick. Copy the answers on your book. Ready to continue? Yes, okay, let's make right now a small practice. We have this. Five sentences that I want you to decide if you're going to put so or such in each one of them, right? Let's start. While you do that, I'm gonna take the tendons. Vamos a pasar la asistencia, por favor, pon atención también a la asistencia. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here teacher. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present. Sara Vigaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present teacher. Habla de Alberto Abrego Vázquez. Okay, Francisco. Okay, Carol. Finish, Miss. Very good, Tatiana. Finish. Very good. Finish. Excellent. Two more so we can continue. Finish. Very good. Finish. Okay. Let's start. Eugenia, go with number one. Number one, it is good to know the cash flow 
they are so important. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Miss Tatiana, number two. The architect is such a creative woman. Okay. Number three, Joanna. Wireless internet access is so convenient. Okay. Thank you. Continue there, Emerson. All the inventions we created are so popular. Thank you. Number five. Uh, who else finished? Who else finished? Who else finished? Who finished? Me? The computer yeah. was such a significant invention. Invention. Very invention. good. Invention. Thank you. Who said me? Me? Hi. Okay. Checking your financial statement was so difficult before. So difficult before. Thank you so much, right? So we have this. Do you have the same answers? Do you have the same answers? Yes? Yes. 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 So important, important is an adjective, a creative woman, noun, convenient, very good, popular, difficult, and a significant invention. Very good. Excellent job, that is very quick. That's perfect. Now we are going to make, you are going to make your own examples, of course, using so and such. We're going to have five minutes because we don't have much time, five to seven minutes, and then we come back with our examples. We're going to make this, these examples in pair, okay? We need to go to, to branches. We're going to make examples, make, Three examples with so, and another three in other three examples with such, please. So we're going to start there. We're going to make 10 rooms. Give me a moment. Carla y Yanira. Yanira ya puede trabajar? Yes, teacher. Okay. Carla Yanira, Carlos y Emerson. Carlos Vladimir y Emerson, sí, ¿verdad? Imelda y Luis, sé que están. Elena y Pablo, ¿pueden trabajar? ¿O Elena está de oyente todavía? ¿Mande? De oyente. Ok. Ok, vamos a poner acá. Pam, pam, pam. Okay, let's go. Eduardo y José Bernardo, Joana y Carol. Carol, ¿le sirve el micrófono? Yes, miss, pero de repente me saca el video. Okay, esperemos que no. Manuel y Tatiana, Man Manuel dice oyente. No se pongan de oyente a la par de su nombrecito porque... Solamente hay una persona en esta clase que debe tener a la par la palabra oyente, que son los que no están oficialmente inscritos, pero siempre reciben su clase. Si usted se pone oyente a la par, Insafor lo va a sacar y no le va a dar certificado. No se ponga oyente, oyente. Lo vamos a poner con Eduardo y Tatiana. La vamos a mover con Joana y Carol. Oscar y Sara, estamos bien. Francisco, no le sirve el micrófono, me dijo, ¿verdad? Exacto, me dijo que no. Yes, Miss. Yes, Miss, ¿qué? Entonces, José, lo vamos a mandar para el uno. Vámonos. We have only five minutes. Five minutes. Six sentences. Very quick. You can do it. Let's go. 
Let's go. Click, click, click. Go. Let's go. Um, the computer is computer. <laughs> fast. Yes. So fast. Fast. Number two. My cell phone is so slow. O podemos cambiar my, my internet o... Mm, sí. Sí, mejor internet. Podría ser... También... Más. El laptop. Is so... Cheap. Sí. Is so cheap. Algo más así. Right. Chip es barato. Uh -huh. Es muy barata por eso se trabaja. Ah, uh -huh. Y ahora los tres con uh -huh. Ajá. Eh, veamos. Aquí, aquí es donde ya es de... Um, um one the teacher. The teacher is such the teacher is such the teacher is such such a, ¿cómo se dice? Amable. Eh, ¿Qué, qué ver? Kai, mm, Kanli, no me acuerdo con más. Amable. Amable. No me acuerdo cómo es amable. Amable, amable. Kinley. 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 Oh, es el. Y está gently. Ajá. Gently. Whiter que es. Messi. Did you finish? You finished, teacher. May I listen to your questions? To your sentences, sorry. Yanira iba haciendo oraciones con so y yo con sush. Entonces no han terminado porque el trabajo es en equipo. Tienen que hacerlo las dos. ¿Por qué? Porque así las dos van a aprender. Usted, usted sabe solo de eso y usted y eso lo sabe de la otra. Ajá. Ahorita lo vamos a escribir en Word. Tienen que saber las dos y todo. Ustedes están haciendo como el trabajo en las maquilas. Uno hace la, la manga, el otro la plancha, el otro. Es que así terminamos la obra, rápido. Me imagino de pues, el si no, después nos va a preguntar y solo eso. No, es de saberlo hacer. Don't worry. Ah, pues si quiere comparta, Carla Eugenia. ¿Usted la va a hacer o yo? En el Word. Así yo le mando a mi hijo, le empiezo a escribir las oraciones entonces. 
es que no, no sé cómo compartir el Word. Va. Entonces, mándenme en el chat sus tres la, oraciones. Las mías. Ajá. Okay, Voy a empezar a escribir yo las mías. Ok, listo. Vamos a poner. Dos. Ahí le puse la mía, la P, en el chat. Sí. Cuatro me ha mandado. Sí. Va, ya voy. Que son cortitas. Pero están buenas. No importa. Están perfectas. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Solo a uh, beautiful, póngale la U después de la A. Beautiful. Y eso ah, es todo. beautiful. Ajá, sí, sí. Y al here, quítale la T. I'm so happy to hear that, solo la R. Ah, sí. Here. Right. No sé, la voy a corregir. Yeah. View, view. Ahí se las mando ya corregidas. Mm, ahorita. My cat. Esto más a ver. La vamos a ver de una sola vez aquí. My cat is so, is so sweet. sweet. Uh -huh. I am so happy to hear. To hear. Ah, pero ahí le quita la T. Ah, me corté la ticha. Haga algo, uh -huh. Carla. Selección eh, de todo. Seleccione. Vaya, ahora váyase donde dice re, revisar. Arriba. Revisar. Allá al final. Revisar. Sí. Revisar. No lo, Después de correspondencia. Pero es que no, no logro terminar de ver el, el menú completo. Pero. No, se hizo bien. Debe revisar. No importa. Ah, si aquí está. está. Ahí. Revisar. Ajá. O ya no, ya no veo lo que dice. Ajá. Hágalo grande o muévalo hacia el otro lado. No sé, le cortó la pantalla. No sé qué le hice. Lo que pasa es que a mí no, lo como arriba tengo el menú, no me deja verlo. No, solo tiene que darle clic a revisar. Aquí está. Ajá. Re ¿Revisar? Sí, ahora dele en revisar ortografía y gramática. Ortografía y gramática. Ajá. Uy. Ortografía y gramática. Ortografía. Solo ortografía me sale. No, no, no lo cierro, no lo cierro. Revisar. Omitir. No, es que eso no lo va a hacer. Quita, se cierre eso. Dele de nuevo revisar. Revisar. Or, ortografía y gramática. Ajá, y solo Pero se le aparece. Sí. Ahora de sí, aquí. No. ¿Lo encontrás? Permítame. ¿Ah? No. Creo que no. no. es que ahí estaba la opción para que ya lo tenga en inglés y ya le salgan los errores. Para que ya no tuviera que, que. Porque aquí todo le sale mal porque lo tiene en español. Ajá. Es correcto. 
Uh -huh. Ciérralo. Bueno, de... revisar. Ah, ahora váyase donde dice idioma. Aquí, la A es una gran A, la parte de traducir. Ajá. Idioma. Exacto. Establecer idioma de corrección. Busque bajo inglés, inglés de Estados Unidos. H y ya vamos llegando. Es Australia. No, inglés, Estados Unidos. Estados Unidos. Dele aceptar. Vaya, ahora seleccionalo. Ah, no lo tenía seleccionado. Dele seleccionar de nuevo y haga lo mismo. Uh -huh. Revisar, idioma, establecer, inglés, Estados Unidos, aceptar. Vaya, mire, esas palabras están mal escritas. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hola, la O. Ahí está bien, ya estuvo. Dele clic en otra parte. Ya no le tiene que aparecer. B A U T full. No será que le hace falta una L. No. Le falta el punto al final. Dele clic derecho. Encima de la palabra. Ya está bien. Beautiful. Ajá, ahí está. Ok. Dele arriba donde dice he has prepared. Dele clic derecho a prepare. Arriba. Prepare. Uh -huh. Exactly. Ah, la R. La R. <laughs> exactly. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Ya está. No, beautiful está bien. No sé por qué no me lo... Y arriba, socha, sochan elegante. Dele clic derecho y le vamos a mostrar an. Mira. Póngale punto al final de beautiful. Ahí está. Bye. Sochan elegante. Ok. We are going... Ok, fine. Ok, yes. We're going to do something here. Right. Uh, Joanna, what sample do you have? Uh, the doctor is so kindly. It's uh, so kind. It's so kind. Okay. Kind. Kindly the, the, is an adverb. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. uh, the family is so uh, friendly. Is the mismo. Problema, no. The family is so friendly. Friendly, perfect. She perfect. is so very smart. So very smart. So smart. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can say she is such a smart girl. Such a okay. smart student, such a smart person. Okay. Very good, Joanna. Let's see, Franco, what do you have? Este, Bernardo tiene ahí las, las capturas que hicimos en Word. Mm, Tal vez okay. las puede compartir ahí con, con nosotros. Bernardo. Acá está dicho. Ok. English is so difficult. The English, no. English. Ok. English is so difficult. The aquarium is so big. That chair is so expensive. Perfect. He has get such a wonderful meal. I would say delightful or delicious. I have such a good gray. We're doing such an excellent work. Yes, you are. Very good. Very good. Excellent examples. Teacher, we have a question here. Uh -huh. uh, we, can we use chop? Such an excellent job. Yeah, you can use both. Both always as nouns, right? Work is going to be a noun and job is going to be a noun too. Remember when you say work, you're referring to a task, to an assignment. And when it says job, you're referring to the profession as a whole thing. Okay. Very good. good. 
Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Now, we're going to share the other ones tomorrow because it's 10 one. I'm sorry I took your time. We have other examples there. Do not lose them, Luis Javier. You're gonna choose, you're gonna share them tomorrow. Today, I think is the day for uh, Luis Javier Castillo, right? Luis Javier, are you going to stay? Todos los demás se pueden retirar. Luis Javier, ¿se va a quedar? Luis Javier. Ah, no, 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 perdón. Ajá, no. Es que, paciencia, paciencia. Mis... No, 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 ahorita no, no, no puedo. Ok, no, Sorry. ok. Carla Eugenia, you can stay. Bye. Thanks, hey, teacher. Paciencia, dice a las 10 y 5. Good night. Está dormido este muchacho. Ok. Se va a ver el TikTok, Juan, hombre, en mi casaca. No. <risa> ellos, yo no. Ok. Sí, ellos. Good night, miss. Bye, bye, Emerson. Bye, everyone. Bye bye. Disconnect, please. Bye, Javier. Okay. Hi, Eugenia. Hello, teacher. Hi, Javier. So you had a question with you said number four, but number four, what? Yes, teacher. Uh, uh -huh. All right. And exercise. Ese. Se supone que lo que me pide es poner el gerundio del de según la oración, yo escojo el verbo que considero que sea que se puede poner en gerundio y continúo la oración. Pero la cosa es que lo hice y no toda me salió mal. Ok, can you see? Can you put the end of the of the question? Do we start providing? Muéstrame la final de la de su pregunta. Do we start En Christmas le falta el el creo que lleva apóstrofe, ¿no? Lleva apóstrofe Christmas. Permítame, no he llegado a la tarea 18 yo aquí. No teacher. Y aún poniéndole eso, este... Permítame, permítame, calmada. Ya vamos a llegar por ahí. Es en la unidad 4, ¿verdad? En la unidad 4, la tarea 18. Uh -huh. Está cargando mi computador, permítame un segundito. Acá está. Ah, ya me dice lo condition. Okay, two Christmas weeks off. Pero no lo voy a quitar. Two weeks. ¿Del el final? Vamos a irlo viendo todos. Off. Ok, vamos a ver la última. La segunda, perdón. Vamos a ver acá. Desde el inicio, por favor. I prefer. I prefer. Yeah. prefer. Ahí hay espacio yeah. de más, ahí hay un espacio de más, quíteselo. I prefer getting them to work one more week plus a bonus. Yes, punto. Okay, vamos a ver al final. Are you interested in giving number three? Are you interested in giving new? Yes, for product. Okay. Let's see number four. Yes, I am. Do you have? I love having some. Some. Okay. Y veamos a cinco. In salaries to employee employees each month is month our is for priority. priority okay del enviar vamos a ver sale. siempre sale mal vamos a ver qué está pasando si la de arriba siempre mal para el cero de veinte sí, siempre desde el pedazo. Ay, 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 ay. Ya sé cuál es el error. 
Trate de poner, veamos bien la indicación. Complete the conversation with Jerson. Ok, trate de poner solamente el Jerson. Providing, getting, giving. Solo el verbo. Solo el verbo. Solo el verbo. Nada más, ajá, así. Sin el punto y sin nada. Eh, tratemos en el punto, vamos a ver qué pasa. Con el primero. Vamos a ver. Ajá. Está grabando. No, siempre sale mal. Teletra, do we start? No, el primero es giving. We start giving to Christmas weeks off. Giving, y en el otro donde puso. Eh, ah. Es como una conversación. Ah, no. Entonces es al revés. Giving, giving. Ajá. Y el número dos. Es una conversación. Ah, pero sin tenés? mayúscula. Sí. Giving. Yeah. Póngale abajo. Dele abajo. Getting. No, espérame. No ponga el todo. Solo dele para abajo. Vamos a ver si es. Dele aceptar. A ver si lo acepta así. Y así seguimos con los demás. No, no lo complete. Yes. Dele enviar, por favor. Para yeah. ver si es como lo estamos, vamos a tener que hacer. Dele enviar, por favor. Ajá. Dele enviar. Ok, la primera salió bien. Sí, esa, el primero, la primera salió bien. Vale, exacto, ya salió bien. Entonces así vamos, lo vamos a hacer. Pero ahora yo le pregunto, yo soy letter A, yo letter B, right? Porque es una conversación. ¿sí? Do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Usted no puede, ser, puede decir si usted es el que me va a contestar a mí, right? I prefer getting them. I prefer. I prefer paying them to work, to work one more week plus a bonus. Estamos en una prefer, conversación. Uh -huh. I prefer. 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 Uh -huh. Having. No. Them to. No. Es una conversación. Yo le estoy preguntando a usted. Usted es una jefa y yo soy una jefa. Estamos hablando de nuestros empleados. We're talking about our, our employees. Esta es una conversación. Dice, yo le voy a preguntar. Hey, Eugenia, do we start giving to Christmas weeks off? Usted me dice, I prefer, no me puede decir getting, getting them to work one more week plus a bonus. No, I prefer paying them to work one more week plus a bonus. Si usted tiene que buscar el verbo que mejor corresponda a la conversación que está haciendo, ¿sí? Porque es una conversación. Dele abajo enviar, vamos a ver si es pay. Yes. Very good. Vale, y así voy siguiendo ah, con ah, las otras. Ya la entendí. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ah, pues yo le escribí a toda la oración pensando que eso... Es que así... Y en no... este teacher... Uh -huh. todo... Vaya. Vale. Aquí yo ya voy, ya, ya sé que es el verbo el que tengo que ver cuál de uh -huh. todos es el que se acomoda a la respuesta. Correcto. Eh, y en este, todos me sale bien, menos este. Ah, porque employees, ¿is it plural or singular? It's employees. employees. Aún. Aún qué? Ma, yo considero que es plural porque igual Ajá. ahí pone el day. Ajá, ok, perfect. So if it's plural, do you use does or don't? Doesn't or yeah, don't? Doesn't. No. You use doesn't with he, she, and it. Those are singular. You use don't with I, you, we, they. I don't. You don't, we don't, they don't. 
Pero aún así, teacher, ya probé. Pongan. Tuve esa duda yo también. Don't. Ahí dice doesn't. Así. Don't. There you are. Vamos Don't. a ver abajo. Don't eat. Well, come well, on. They will not be. Ajá. Healthy. Pongan healthy. healthy. Ok, vamos a ver. Vamos sí, a ver. Mal. If employees do not eat well, ponga won't be. Contractado. Once. Contractado, will. No, 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 vamos para el final. Will. Vaya, ahora vamos a contractar will. Will contractado es won't. Que sería así. Won't. Así. Uh -huh. No, mire el chat. Want. Uh -huh. Ah, want. Ahorita. Vamos a ver si así nos deja. They want. ¿No la ha puesto bien? Uh -huh. They want. Be. Healthy. Be healthy. No. Permítame, vamos a ver qué otra opción podría ser. Déjeme verla. Pero espérame, ¿qué condicional es esta? Ah, pero es que esta, esta no es condicional de futuro, esta es la primera condicional. Déjeme ver la clase. Ajá, es zero conditional. Vaya, en zero conditional, eh, Carla Eugenia, usted va a utilizar simple present y simple present. Will no es simple present. Vaya, por ejemplo, mire la primera. Dice, if I wake up late, I am late. Right? Simple present, I wake up. I am late, simple present. Entonces tengo simple present y simple present. La siguiente, my son burns the food, burns the food, simple present. If he doesn't cook alone, doesn't cook alone is simple present. En la tercera lo que está, if he cooks alone, perfecto, cooks is simple present. Entonces tenemos en las dos, simple present, simple present, zero conditional. ¿Qué pasa en la tercera? Tenemos simple present y will. Will no es simple present, es futuro. Entonces, ¿cuál es, ¿cuál es la forma de be? What is the conjugation of be in simple present? Are. are is are. If they aren't healthy. ¿Tratemos así? They are. Negative, aren't. Aren't. Uh -huh. Aren't be. No, porque ya está conjugando el be. Mira lo que hizo en la número uno. I am, no le puso I am be. ¿Ya? Entonces es lo mismo. Ahí sí. Ahí está. Right. Simple present, yeah. simple present. Very good. Ay, me voy a ya el otro lo, lo arreglo y prácticamente ahí termino yo ya todas mis actividades, que solo me había quedado el fin de semana, ya no hallaba qué hacer. <ríe> Estaba en huracán. <ríe> Ah, sí, porque yo no necesito terminar porque en la semana se me complica un poquito más, entonces el fin de semana era hacerlo o hacerlo. <ríe> Perfecto, me parece bien, no hay problema. Uh, no sé si tiene alguna otra pregunta, Eugenia. No, teacher, porque me había trabado en, estas, en estos dos exercises uh -huh. y ahorita viendo mi, ya mi, mi progreso. Ya va a terminar. Porque ya termino. Este, sí, ya. Vi que todas las están bien completadas y solo en la unidad cuatro que yo me había quedado trabada con esos dos ejercicios. Pero de ahí todo lo tengo ya completo. Ok, perfecto. <ríe> Glad to hear that, Eugenia. So, si ya no tiene preguntas, entonces la veo mañana. Primero Dios. Yes, right. teacher. Thanks. Thank you. Bye, bye. <ríe>